Hi guys, it's Rach. We are finally moving into springtime here in Australia, so I wanted to share with you guys my go-to everyday springtime makeup look. This is something that is quick and simple to do, and I really love how youthful and fresh that it looks. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere and you're moving into autumn, I'm of course super jealous, but you could use this look as you hold on to the last sort of bits of warmth of summer, or you can come back to this look during the middle of winter when it's cold and dreary, and I can be your little springtime summer makeup fairy and you can use this look then just to really make you feel a little bit more happy. I never thought I'd have springtime makeup fairy as a job description but I kind of like it. Oh I also show you guys how to get this hair too although it is super super simple. I'm going to start by hydrating my skin. I'm going to use the Clinique Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief Gel Cream. It's my favorite moisturizer of the moment. Since the spring and summer months often mean a lot more time spent out in the sunshine, sunscreen is an absolute must. I'm going to be using the La Roche-Posay Anthelios XL Extreme Fluid. This is a 50 plus SPF. Sunscreen is a step that you really don't want to skip. I'm also going to pop a little bit of lip balm on my lips. For today's foundation, I'm going to be using the MAC Face and Body Foundation. This is a lovely, really natural looking foundation. It has sheer to medium coverage and it is buildable, really nice for everyday wear. I find it best to apply this foundation with your fingers and if you are going to do that, make sure that they're clean. I tend to gravitate towards more sheer foundations during the spring and summer months and then I just build up the coverage that I need with a concealer. just feel it feels better on your skin overall, particularly if you're going to get all hot and sweaty. To add a little bit of extra coverage where I need it because let's face it, a sheer foundation isn't going to cover every blemish or imperfection on your skin, I'm going to use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I finally have a new one of these, yay, and I'm going to be applying this with my Beauty Blender. I like using the Beauty Blender because it shears it out so you still get a decent amount of coverage but you don't get that cake face kind of look. This is great for under the eyes as well and it doesn't crease on me which is another plus. While the warmer weather is great, I do find that heat equals foundation migrating down all over my face. So I am going to set at least my T-zone and under my eyes. I'm going to use my Astralis Fresh and Flawless Powder today. Just popping this lightly, patting motions all over the T-zone. Since this is not an eyeshadow heavy look, I'm also going to pop a little bit of the powder just across my eyelids as well. Time for my favourite part of makeup, the brows. I'm going to be using my Hourglass Arch Brow Pencil. If you do want to invest in an eyebrow pencil, I highly recommend the Hourglass Arch one. It is exy, but it just makes eyebrows so quick and simple. For everyday makeup, it is definitely my favourite. I'm just using my finger to soften the front of the brow. To set that in place and bring back a little bit of texture to our brows that may have been taken away by the waxiness of the brow pencil, I'm going to use my Benefit Gimme Brow. When using this product, I always recommend wiping off the excess product because I find that the little stopper in this doesn't quite catch enough of it. I tend to not wear a lot of eyeshadow every day and for me this look is really brought out by the cheeks and the lips. However, I do want to put a little something on the lids so I'm going to be using a highlighter. This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Perfect Topping. I'm using this one because I haven't really used it in a video before. You could easily substitute that for MAC's Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle or if you don't want to spend the money, this Physician's Formula Powder Palette Mineral Glow Pearls in Light Bronze Pearl is a pretty decent dupe for Soft and Gentle gives you a very similar finish and color but is significantly cheaper. Again using our fingers I'm just going to pop a little bit of this in the center of the eyelid. I'm also going to place some in the inner corner. It 
and on the outer corner just sort of underneath the lower lash line. I'm going to line my eyes using the Physician's Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner Plus Serum in Deep Brown. I absolutely love this product and the brown eyeliner is just a little bit softer than the black. Again, lovely for the springtime. I'm keeping the line quite thin in the inner corner and then gradually increasing the thickness as we move towards the outer corner. Finishing the line in a wedge shape. To keep our eyes looking open and awake, I'm going to put a light coloured eyeliner along the lower waterline. Next you want to curl your lashes and then load up the top and lower lash line with some mascara. Don't forget to really pull out the lashes in the outer corner. They're the ones that are going to make your eyes look all flirty and cat-eyed. I need to adjust my mirror like 20 times when I apply mascara. I'm so bad at getting it all over my face. <laughs> Does anybody else have that problem? Now you guys are all going to pretend that I'm a really good beauty YouTuber and can apply mascara without getting it all over my face. But for those of you who, like me, can't actually do that. That's where the cotton tip comes in. Just clean up any mess that you've made. We'll just pretend like it never happened. Our super simple eyes are pretty much done. I'm just going to push a little bit of black pencil liner into my upper waterline just to sort of cover up any gaps that there might be between my mascara and my liner and the lashes and all that kind of stuff. If this weirds you out, you can totally skip this step. Let's move on to those all important cheeks. I'm going to start with a bronzer. This is the Body Shop Honey Bronzer. It's just a nice matte light colored bronzer. Just want to take a fluffy brush. We're not going for an overly contoured look here. I'm just going to softly apply this to my cheekbones. This is all about adding color. We want to look like we have that tan that that sunscreen we applied earlier is going to stop from happening, hopefully. Just going to pop some across the bridge of my nose as well and on my neck just to blend all that color together since my neck is ghostly pale at the moment. I'm also going to add a little bit to the jawline just to hide that extra piece of cake or two that I may or may not have eaten. One of my favorite parts of this look is the blush. This is Bobbi Brown's blush in Apricot. This to me is just like the perfect spring and summer blush. It gives you a really pretty flush. It's a kind of that perfect mix of pink and coral. I'm going to just start off slowly applying it to the apples of my cheeks and then blending it backwards. To me, this blush just screams healthy. Just makes you look all glowy and awake and like there's blood flowing through your veins. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I just, I really think it makes you look really youthful. To finish off the face, I'm just going to go back to that perfect topping mineralized skin finish. Just take a small amount and just apply this right to the very top of the cheekbones. I don't like to go too highlighter crazy in the warmer weather just because I find that the sweat that kind of comes with that tends to make you look shiny enough, but just a little bit, a little bit of highlighter never hurt anyone. Probably put a little bit on the top of the lip as well. Since we don't have a lot going on in the face, I think it's okay to go for a glossy lip. I think it's really pretty and girly, particularly for the springtime. I'm going to use my Maybelline Color Elixir in Celestial Coral. I just think any kind of lip gloss, particularly one that matches the blush that you use, so you're going for like a corally pink color, will really just tie the look together. And again, really pretty, fresh and youthful for spring. I love how pigmented these are. One last step, I'm going to add a little bit of my Urban Decay D Slick setting spray just to keep the makeup in place and to take away any powderiness. Ooh, probably a good idea to stop talking when you spray that. Ugh, does not taste good, but it does do the trick of keeping your makeup in place all day. 
For my hair, I'm just going to take a relatively small section from my, behind my ear and I'm going to split it into three and just do a simple three strand braid or plait. Once you get to the end, just tie it off and then pull the braid apart a little bit. Next I'm just pulling my hair all to one side and you want to split your hair into two, the remaining hair. This plait is going to be our third piece and we're just going to do again a normal three strand braid to the side. Or a plait, whatever you want to call it. When I reach the end I'm just pulling out that same hair tie and tying it off. Pull out a few extra pieces to frame your face. Just rough it up a little bit. So there you have my simple, quick, everyday makeup for springtime as well as a hair tutorial to go with it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Please share with me your favourite spring or summer makeup in the comments below. I'd love to hear what products you love to wear. Also make sure you check the description box for links and product lists and things like that. I fill it all that out so check that for some information. Other than that, I'm going to go. I hope you guys are all having an awesome day and I'll talk to you all next time. Bye!